Hi guys, Jim here, and my voice might sound a little bit different because I'm actually at my brother Ed's house recording tonight. Because 2.3 has dropped, and I've finally got my Starfarer in the hangar, and I'm crazy excited. Except then, I found out that the Starfarer Gemini is not going to show up as the Starfarer in my hangar, but they're going to fix it, but I have to wait. I'm at Ed's house because I got so angry, I threw my hat through a cinder block wall. Uh, but, there was another surprise. We get to try the Cartuel Scout, and we get to fly it. And I've flown it a little bit already, and I gotta say, it is now officially the coolest looking ship in the game. And it's got a wicked awesome sound. Uh, blade owners, you just, just melt it and buy this thing. Because if you're going to have an alien ship, this is the one. I've done it again. <laughs> I always do this every single time. Do you not pay any attention at all? To no, it? I really don't. So if you guys ever see some idiot running around on the platform, jumping off into space and flying up to the top. It's the way you, that... you go through life just picking any random hole, don't you? Yes, I do. Any random hole whatsoever. Uh, oh, for heaven's sake. Ugh. God. Let's try this again, because that is one wicked awesome looking ship. Oh, we get better lighting this time. Look at that. Yeah, wow. that, that looks significantly better than the hangar model did. I, I don't, I mean, I'm having trouble picking out the, I don't think those arrows were on it before, were they? Let's look at the, let's get a close up look at the detail. I don't think so. Looks like carbon fiber. Yeah, it's got a different texture than it had when we looked at it in the hangar. That is cool. Um, Still a very cool texture. Oh, and they've still got the detail around here. Oh, and I remember this stuff here was very plain, and now it's got that nice used texture on it. That's really cool. This is one good-looking ship, and oh, man, wait until we get it up into into space, I guess. <laughs> we're already technically in space. but And good news. I know you were all worried. They kept the flight of the navigator steps. So, you know. Maybe it will have a computer that sounds like Pee Wee Herman. And if I have one, let me just grab my nodules here. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. That's some nice nodules. Ooh, oh, 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 yeah. That looks naughty. <laughs> You'll never guess Actually, where I learned this. Actually, it kind of makes sense. It's like, it's like a trackball. It is like a trackball. I, I wonder if when, once you get flying, if he needs to turn really fast, he'll just take the whole thing and, and you know just spin it with his fingertips to get it moving. Okay, well, let's take off now. Um, again, I want to back out and hit insert so we can watch it transform. You've already got... Look at it look twitch. At, look at it twitch. It's like a mosquito squashed on the pad. Oh, look at those engines. That is so cool. It's like something out of a 50s sci-fi movie. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that is neat. All right, let's, let's take off and, and watch her transform. That sounds so awesome. That is cool as can be. Oh man, that sounds awesome. It sounds insectoid. Do you remember when we first started paying attention to Star Citizen and one of the big complaints is, well, it doesn't sound as good as Elite Dangerous. Yeah. Um, Elite Dangerous? I'm sorry. <laughs> I think Star Citizen has taken over in the sound department. That is awesome. Oh wow, that is beautiful. I could, I could put that on my wall. I could hang that up on my wall as a picture. That's so pretty. Okay, enough ogling. Let's get inside there and fly someplace. Now, I tried shooting the guns, and i got to say I'm not impressed. Uh, I checked out the maneuverability. Oh, look at him work the throttle there. They really have been improving the animations in this game. No doubt. If this had been a year ago, his hands would be broken. <laughs> They'd be bent, twisted bent backwards. the wrists. Yeah, uh, top speed is currently 220, which I find to be a little bit disappointing. Uh, top afterburner speed is 325. I know they're still going to fiddle with the speeds, but I'm starting to kind of get the feeling that they they've got them dialed in a bit, and they're more like what they're going to be, you know, in the finalized now, version. I'm telling you, I think what they probably did to get this ready for the PTU is they just threw 
the flight model of another ship on here. Like, this is probably the 300 series. And you know what? You, you say that, and it feels like the 300 series. It really does. And I'm, I said it before, and I'll say it again. I know everybody... Ooh, ah, also, I'm used to inverting the mouse when I fly, and because I'm at Ed's house... I, let me switch to the joystick. There you go. Uh, I invert the joystick. I do not invert the mouse. It really does feel like the 300 series, because those kind of drive like a big old, you know, soft suspension car... And they're supposed to because they're luxury vehicles. Um, but this one here, I really expected to have more, more zip in the turns, and you don't well, really. It's, it's supposed to be the most maneuverable ship in the game at this point. It's supposed to be, and it is just not. It feels like it does. It feels like the 300 series. Well, the Saber was like that too. The Saber is supposed to be a very maneuverable ship. No, 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 no. I have it on good authority that from the get-go, the Saber was perfect and. If you crashed into an asteroid, it's just because you didn't hit the right buttons. That's what I was told, despite the 12 updates that they put out immediately after everyone picked on me to fix the flying of the Saber. No, it was, <laughs> it was terrible. It was. It was bad. But they they fixed it. It is significantly better now. Now it's right about where I'd hoped it would be, actually. Maybe, maybe I'd hope for something a little more maneuverable, but the Saber turned into a very nice ship very quickly. Where's, where's Korea? Weak engines. Oh, Korea's on the other side of Crusader. Well, let's go and look at this thing that I just discovered. It's like I've got a new toy. Are you ready? Listen to this. I love this sound. Check out the animation. Is this different? All you people who are watching this, Ed and I think it might be. It, it looks slightly different. I'm not sure what about it. Check that out. Maybe it's just the fact that you can see so much more and of it. Oh, it didn't do it that time. No, it did not. The last time it came out, it like zipped ahead to our entry point, and you got to see the ship warp in or quantum in or whatever. I don't know. But that should get us out and around Crusader so we can see. I switch back to the joystick again. Where are you? B. I already hit B. Oh, never mind. All right, now, where's Korea? <laughs> can, you, can you see it? Okay, there we go. There we go, okay. Let's go see if we can we can wreck some fools with our scout. Now, what size were the the M series lasers on this thing? Do you remember? Uh, I believe these are the M four A's. Okay, M four A's should be able to do some pretty serious damage. Is there anybody here? Oh, there's nobody here. Nobody wants to get shot. Yeah, and there are only two. Now, I don't mind that they took the extra seat away, because I'd always thought it was like a superfluous seat. And I understand some people, if they thought they were going to use this for exploration, might uh, really like to have a second person to do some science chores or something. But, I don't know. I always thought it looked like it should be a single-seater. But what I do miss is the other pair of weapons that we thought maybe were going to be on here. Oh, well, there's nobody here. You want to go someplace else? Or do you want to fly around and look at the ship some more? You're flying. Let's look at the ship. It's so pretty. I should probably slow down a little bit. Ah! There we go. Check that out. That's just beautiful. Well, I think we all know about how well those M4As are going to perform, so I don't think we need to shoot anybody, but... There you go. There's the Kartu Owl Scout in flight. Right now, if you want to know what it feels like, maybe go and take one of the 300 series for a spin. Uh, they're all free to access right now. Even if you haven't paid into the game, you can go and get into any ship, though not this one, any other flyable ship in the game, you can get into and fly right now. So if you want to know what it feels like, go fly one of those. In the meantime, if you want to see this beautiful ship, you're going to have to watch some videos. Look at that.